A man can do all things if he but wills them. Such is the positive take on life expressed in the 15th century by Leon Battista Alberti, who very much practiced what he preached and excelled, among others, as a poet, priest, linguist, artist and philosopher, thus turning himself into the quintessential Renaissance man. Mostly, though, he is today remembered as an architect, and very specifically as the first person of his era to write about architecture. For our module on digital data acquisition, though, he is of particular interest for yet another reason. Alberti was also the first person to systematically, methodically survey Rome. It was his contention that in order to build in the city and to create new architecture, it was essential to know and understand in detail what was already there. Rome being the centre of a then already 2,000 year old civilization, there was a whole lot of antique masonry about the place that needed to be captured. And capture it he did. With a horizon instrument he invented for the purpose, which is why it could be argued that, apart from everything else that he is recognised for, archaeology too, as we understand it today, started with Alberti. If, at a time of extraordinary cultural change and radical shifts in technology, science and thinking, Alberti found it both necessary and desirable to develop a methodology that allowed him to understand and handle the past, then today we too, with the digital era putting us at a juncture that is no less significant than the Renaissance, have to develop and master methods appropriate to our age to understand and handle the past. The past in architecture is, on the one hand, what's been there and has since gone, and it is, and here is where it all becomes patently relevant, what is already there and remains in place still. Today we have the specialist field of design and construction in existing contexts, but really how often does anyone get a chance to design and construct into non-existing context, into an empty space? That is very much the exception, and will continue to be to an ever greater extent. The more architecture we do, the more existing context there is. There is around the world an ever-growing stock of existing context that needs renovating, updating, securing, restoring, rescuing, modernising, adapting, preserving, rebuilding or refreshing, or in some cases complete or partial dismantling and often in such a way that neighbouring buildings are not damaged or destroyed. Repurposing. How many an old warehouse or factory, church or mortuary, public convenience or power station has not been taken and given a whole new look, feel and meaning? And so, if we are going to do work in any mature city in the world or in many varied rural and remote settings, we have to get to grips with what's already there, either because we have to work with it or because we have to work around it. And getting to grips with it means understanding it, knowing its purpose, shape and composition, and that means capturing the built-up world. Today, we almost invariably do this by digitalizing it, in other words, by acquiring digital data on it and by generating digital data where it is not yet available. In our module on digital data acquisition, we therefore introduce the principal methods we have at our disposal to do so today, and we also take a short look at how we captured the built-up world around us before we had digital technology.